What is up, my fellow Fate and Giants? It's your boy back at it to give his opinion on who you should select for your free five star servant. So let's just get straight into it. I have four criteria that really allow me to pick a servant. The first is Wife of Meta. The second is Waver. The third is Who Works Best for Farming. And the last is Who Works Best for Killing Bosses. That's how I decide on who I'm picking for my servant. And that's what I think you should do as well. So obviously, we're going to start with the start and go with the first option of pick your waifu or husbando. In this game, you should always pick waifu or husbando over the meta. It is far more enjoyable that way because you get to see your favorite fake character in front of you. So if I didn't have her, I'll be picking Altara or Modred because those are two of my favorite fake characters and I'd obviously want them on my account. So even though if you were, say, picking Arjuna, who isn't the best servant to pick out of this lineup, if you like him the most, you should definitely pick him. Criteria 2, Waver. I think Waver speaks for himself. He is pretty much the best support currently available on the... NA version of the game that's a general support unit. He's obviously, you know, he's going to help you form on all your teams. You can put him on anything and he just works really well. Challenge quests, farming, everything. The third criteria is who's going to be a good AoE farming servant. Servants like Altoria and Mordred are going to become really good when Koei and Skya releases. Servants like Brad and Kona also work really well for farming. And additionally, servants like Francis Drake, Europa, they're all really good AoE farming servants. As you spend like 99% of your time in this game farming or killing waves of enemies, all the tools you need, especially if they have a Noble Phantasm battery, on their kit to just farm really easily. I mean, you need the setup of other servants to help them farm as efficiently as possible, but if you're a new player, an AoE servant really is going to help you out a lot. And then finally, for more veteran players that aren't fully set up in their accounts, a good boss killer is what you need. Servants like Enkidu and Ozymandias deal massive damage and they can basically carry you through any boss in the first part of a Grad Order. And Enkidu is an incredible solo character, so you really don't need anyone else if you have Enkidu. But buffing him will make him even more ridiculous. And he's very useful for the Lost Belt boss fights, as there's many enemies in it that fall under his Noble Phantasm special damage mod. So he's going to be obliterating enemies even at NP1. So yeah, that's my two cents on the matter. I'm probably going to be picking Francis Drake in this banner, if I'm being honest. I have a Bond 10 on the JP version of the game, and I really want her. And I've summoned for her like two or three times and just haven't managed to get her. So she is going to be the one I pick. And like, can you blame me? Lucky at her. Come on now.